Marisol is going to make her... Are you, are you taking sweet sangria? Yeah. There's no right. bus that goes all the way out there. There's one bus nobody rides on. If there was a bus, it would just be full of, full of novelty robots. You can make your way towards there. Uh, in the meantime, Nia, you wanted to introduce Mr. Mr. Jr. to Perry Floor. How would you introduce that, I guess? Nia would just, like, skate on up and be like, Perry! Yeah, hey, hello? Yeah, hi. Hi, this is Mr. Mr. Jr., my friend. Hey, Mr. Mr. Jr., how are you doing? He looks a little off-put. He has no idea who this guy is. Mr. Mr. Jr. says, I, right, cool. I've heard a lot about you. I just wanted to get some information real quick. You know, I'm from an organization, information and intelligence group, you know, independent, you know, kind of third party. Comes from Earth, and uh, we were involved in a little incident. I just wanted to take a little survey, and I'm not going to take up too much of your time here. You cool with that, buddy? Perry kind of like, he looks around and he's like, "You want to know? You want to know about me? Sure, I'll, I'll answer any questions I can." <laughs> cool. He gives him a big thumbs up as of encouragement. With that, uh, they they seem to just like be talking about like little stuff. For the most part, the memorial service is kind of just like going on with in smaller groups. Seven Nation Army guys, even though they talked a good game and said that they were here to build bridges, uh, you would notice that they did make an attempt to talk to a few people there and nobody really seemed to want to talk to them. So they are kind of, they're going to make their way out at a certain point. You would try to catch them to at least like shake his hand and thank him for coming. That just seems polite. As soon as you extend your hand, it gets taken by not Rafferty Riffert, but Kriya, the woman with- Okay, uh, and she shakes your hand just as excitedly. Kriya holds it and shakes it and continues to hold it. Hi, thank you for coming. Oh yeah, no <laughs> problem. He doesn't let go. Nia looks a little confused, but figures this is an earth cuts him and they just hold. It's kinda, her grip is pretty tight. Um, it's you just starting to hurt a little. Oh yeah, you just wanted to shake hands with my, my man here, huh? I, I wanted to shake hands with both of you. Oh, good. Yeah, no, we can we can shake hands for a while. Why don't you just, you know what I really would love to do is take you, take you out and buy you some drink. You want to get and some drinks? Sure, maybe after the funeral. Can you stop hurting? It's kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. She continues to shake and shake it for a second, and then let's go. She has a very, very like it's like a firm, almost fucking. Uh, frozen grip. Uh, Mia, Mia finally gets her hand back and like rubs it. Oh, oh, that's, that's okay. You must be very... Yeah, yeah, I am. But, you know, I just, you know, it just was weird because all these girls keep coming up to Rafferty trying to say hello and like, you know, touch up on them and shit. And I was just like, man, I got to meet some of these ladies. That's why I want to have drinks with you sometime. I think we can, we can go out and just like, I can get to know you better. You know, I want to get to know you. That would be fun. I, I mean, I have to work around my paranormal activities, but I'm always up for parties. Oh, you're a paranormal activity type of person. That's fun. I like that. Yeah, have, that's my job. Do you hunt ghosts? Uh, yeah, um, ghosts and zombies and vampires. Have you ever considered becoming paranormal? I mean, people already kind of call me sort of weird. I mean, I could just make sure you turn into a ghost real quick. And then Rafferty, as she says that, Rafferty turns her away. I, 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 I yeah, we, we, you know, maybe y'all get drinks. You know, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. You know, we should we should go. We should probably leave, I think. <laughs> you know, I think we had the nice sampler of snacks. It's very nice, very nice people here. They're very nice. They're very nice people. Kraya, they're very nice people. You kind of like, like the, same. the same way that she did to Marisol. As he tries to turn her away, you see her head stay stationary, just stare. He is, continues to like smile at both of them, not realizing at all the danger. And just is like, well, thank you for coming. I'm glad we've been able to foster some relations between the moon and the earth. Yeah, I bet you'd like to foster more than that, huh? Let me just... And then, like, Ravri really starts dragging away. I, 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 see you. Bye. Bye. He's dragging her away. Uh. Marisol appears behind Nia and puts a hand on her shoulder. Wow. Uh, I 
came back, uh, as you can see, but I uh, see uh, you got to meet her. Yes, she, uh, she has a real good grip. Yeah, I don't doubt that. My hand is good. Hey, uh, Nia, um, are you done here? Uh-huh. Because I kind of wanted to bring a friend. Uh, I'm too, like, nervous to go by myself. Go where? To the ranch. Oh, you gotta go see- oh, you gotta go see Luke. Yeah, you know. You sure let me, um, let me say goodbye. Uh, I've got one more person to meet, and then, and then we can- Yeah, I'll go see if the others want to come. Around this time, also, Simone, uh, you get a text message on your mobile from Jose Triple Cross. He wants to know more information about Holland, anything you might have known or retrieved from him, from that body. He provides uh, kind of a link where you can send information, any research that you've done. He seems interested because he's, he seems to have learned that you're, you know, this is your field. So he, he seems like he's interested in working with you on, on this matter of uh, that he's looking into. Probably mentioned that she's um, heart in the glass box, right? Yeah, the heart in the glass enclosure. It's like, like the enclosure itself is kind of heart shaped. It's a container. She mentioned that she has that and has been doing a uh, little bits of research here or there on Holland. He had um, big organs that kind of screamed out. Do you want to? Yeah. Let's let's try out one of your approaches real quick. You were able to get a l pretty good amount of information from the heart. Uh, you're able to determine kind of how these things were still like alive with this organ or like kind of like what even some of what the attachments did. So it it is a strange sort of condition that these hearts were in. It was like that they, every organ is able to receive and give feedback. Uh, these organs, these hearts seem to have been made kind of to receive only uh, feedback uh, as if they were set up to just specifically get uh, the sort of reaction that a heart would give when someone is under stress or is being attacked or or any of those things. It's like they were, the organ is a captive audience, which is really a bizarre kind of thing. It has, it, again, as Jose told you before, it really had no benefit to the organism for it to be set up this way. To, you were able to make that assessment based on kind of the ingoing, outgoing, uh, the connections, the the type of of circuitry involved in the uh, cases, like the plugs, and um, just the the general the state of the thing. Yeah, she'll probably share a lot of what she learned uh, with Jose, and uh, pretty much about what Holland looked like at the uh, rough end. Sure, uh, you you could actually. I I'm pretty sure the link to uh, the video that <laughs> Nia recorded could probably be forwarded to him if he hasn't already yeah. seen it. So. That'll, that'll provide good visual data. He will send a reply that says, uh, I appreciate this and look forward to working with you further on this matter. Uh, his, his, his replies, his messages are, are very, you, you've been in business for, you know, your corporate life, your kind of professional life. Uh, you've been in that for a while. So you would know that from the way that this guy responds, he is that sort of like weirdly 100% professional, I have no life kind of like response he's just he's very very i'm just here to do this and that like kind of guy almost robotic um but efficient yeah. and seems friendly and willing to work with you so yeah jason is also in the back he uh seems to be ready to wrap up because it seems like everything is sort of you know coming to a close on this service uh what would you like to say to mr mr valley here uh, i basically just thank him for showing up and uh, how is his research? There is a slight, slight lag in him noticing that you're there. He looks at you and says, oh, hi. Yes, my research is, is, is going well. Uh, I, I just mostly came here to cover this. Of uh, did, did it go well? Yes. Did you get all the pictures you need? I've got pictures. I, well, I took a few. I didn't think it would be very appropriate to snap and flash with my mechanical camera, but uh, I got as many as I thought were appropriate. Uh, I have actually had a few people request the traditional black and white prints, which is, I, I feel like I should do for some of the grieving people. I mean, that's very formal. It, it sounds like they would like I to think hear so. about the zombies. I'm sorry to hear about the, the, the zombies. 
Uh, yes. The, <laughs> I, I mean, when it comes to the supernatural, I, I think I said before, I, I barely know what I'm doing there. But it sounds like there was some kind of, yeah, zombie fication, I think was the term. He actually looks over his notes for that. <laughs> um, zombification, yes. Um, I assume you know quite a bit about this zombification. We're just starting to study it, act. I see. But uh, Simone's a biologist. So she probably knows. Hmm. Biologist. She probably, probably would. Well, that's good. Maybe I'll, I'll talk to her about that. I'm not exactly a science reporter, so it's one of those things that she'd probably have to explain to me in layman's terms. Oh, me too. I, I thought you were uh, some sort of scientist. I mean, I'm an investigator, like well, you, but for ghosts. I, I've seen you wear that, that space suit. I, I assume that was some sort of uh, laboratory gear? She giggles at him. She goes, no, that's my styling gear. Oh, hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. do, I do moon uh, styling all the time, where you go out in the gravity, where the gravity's less, moon gravity. Oh, so you're an astrophysicist. That's, it's, it's a hobby up here. Are you new to up here? How, how long have you been up on? Oh, a bit of time. I. <laughs> oh, you should definitely give moon gravity a try then. It's super fun. He looks so. <laughs> I feel like the equipment is like ski equipment where it's all really expensive. He seems no. a little embarrassed, actually. What? Uh, <laughs> do I seem like an Earth person? No, you. I couldn't actually tell if if that was honest. I feel like probably haven't done many sports. Now he looks very embarrassed. <laughs> Do you wanna do you wanna try to figure out why he's feeling oh nope. negative too? Yeah, it's it's pretty difficult to tell exactly why he's uncomfortable with this line of conversation, but uh that's okay. Uh you can just tell that he is. Well they would be be like, Well, like you seem more like an artist type. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it's I, I, I guess I just don't get out enough is, is probably what it is. That's fine. I, I'm, maybe I'll make some time to talk to your uh, friend Simone uh, at some point. Great. Uh, nice speech, by the way. I, I recorded it. Uh, thanks. I did too. Wonderful. Uh, I, I'm sure you have a lot of people here that you, you discuss things with, and uh, I, I should probably be heading out. So uh, nice seeing you again. Thank uh, you, you for take doing that. Oh, yeah, no problem. He does look a little defeated as he walks away. Oh, no! I'll give you more information as soon as I can. Yes, I, I look forward to it. <laughs> oh, I defeated him completely. Oh. <laughs> so you didn't you didn't have the empathy to tell, but uh, I will tell you, like, out of character and aside, the reason why he felt like that was because he was feeling old and, like, a loser. <laughs> oh, and, no! Uh, oh. And he was you know, talking to a, a young woman who's like, you don't know what this <laughs> And he just, you look like you don't do any sports. Oh, uh, dear. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> yeah, his, his self-esteem took a little bit of a hit. That's not, she doesn't see that as a bad thing. She's just like, well, it's normal among stylers. I, she, she doesn't know. It's okay. Um, he'll, he'll live. Now that Jason Valley has been defeated. I did not mean to defeat Jason Valley. <laughs> He was he was a tough opponent, but you did it. He's completely crushed. Eventually, Perry also leaves. Mr. Mr. Jr. Uh, seems to have gathered enough information from him. Uh, the last note at the memorial service is a speech given by Tyson, who walks up to the stage and takes out a piece of paper that's very wrinkled. He steps up to the microphone. Seems like most people aren't even paying attention. Hello. He taps the microphone. Hello. Hello, I am Tyson Strongest. I just want to say a few words for my friends who are missing and people who are passed away. I wrote a poem and I just wanted to read my poem. Birds fly in the sky and sometimes people die. But I will try not to cry because it is not a lie that there is a love deep inside that I should not try to hide because I like to dance. Thank you. I, I clap for him just because. I, I don't have much more written here because like I said, I should try to speak from the heart because that is the hashtag that people use, missing heart. And we are missing people that are not here anymore. I think I will see them again in heaven 